So this is called The Proudest Blue, a story of hij hijab and family. And it's by Ib um, Ibtahaj Muhammad with S.K. Ali. The art is by Hatim Ali. The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family by Ibtahaj, Ibtahaj Muhammad. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But if Sia shakes her head, I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean, the color if you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sun. It's the first day hijab. Asiya knows it. I know it. We're sisters. The next day, I wait. A new backpack, new light-up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house, and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. Is she proud of her big sister? I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers and says, come on, Faiza. We speed walk it. 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across. Asiya takes me to my first line, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her give a little curtsy to the princess going to sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? A girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try it again, louder now. A scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see a Sia. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Isa, a Sia's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited? I ask about the first day of hijab. She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Anyone here have a big older brother or sister? Anyone here? I have an older brother. And does anyone like look up to their older brother or sister? Like, uh, it's funny, I ask this question, some people say yes and some people say no. So if you say no, that's okay. Not everybody looks up to their big brother or sister, but I, in my case, I did. My older brother was a year older than me. He was a head taller than me. He was six feet when he was in sixth grade. So he was pretty tall. He didn't get a whole lot taller than but he was a great athlete and he was a great student. And so I was always Jesse's little brother. Whenever I had his same teachers, they go, oh, you're Jesse's little brother. I'm like, oh. But I still looked up to him. I think she looks up to her sister too. Huh? Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Boys and girls, why do you think that the boys are pointing at Asiya? Share with your partner. Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said, but if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture. 
two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it loud. The teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if a seer drew a picture too. Recess time is for the five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one. Near the sixth graders. Near Zia and her friends. Near a boy yelling. I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. <laughs> Asiya's hijab is not a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue. Only blue. Asiya turns away. Her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. Does your mom or dad or guardian ever give you things to think about when, um, to how to deal with people who tease you or bully you? It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see a Sia waiting for me, like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean in the sky, no line between, <coughs> saying hello with a loud wave, saying, I'll always be there, like sisters, like me and Asiya. And this is the actual author of the book. And her name, who wrote this book, is uh, Ibtihaj Muhammad, and she is the first Muslim American Olympic medalist. And she is a swordsman. They call that fencing in the Olympics. And we're gonna have an Olympics this summer. And in the 2016 Olympics, she won a bronze medal in the saber. That's the that's the curved sword. Um, there's also the foil, which is the pointy sword. But she won. Uh, she's an American who wears a hijab, and um, these are her sisters, Asiya and Faiza. So she has two sisters who she wrote this book about. Pretty cool, huh? really interesting to learn about someone else's culture. Um, what's nice is we live in a, in a place, United States, where there are all sorts of different cultures and religions, and you're free to practice whatever you want, and we shouldn't um, tease anyone. So let's give this book a round of applause, everyone.